Hi, I'm David Coomer from Taurus Tipsters and ePianos. If you've got one of the earlier model keyboards or one of the earlier Tauruses, the Taurus 5 might be a good choice. Let me show you why. So to start with, we've got a, a much more darker silver. The earlier models were all in a lighter silver. I think it looks quite smart in this, um, this finish. So this is the, the 76 note version. You've got an extra octave and a quarter than you would have had on the other Tyros models. So 76 notes is six and a quarter octaves. And for those of you who play the piano, it's only an octave shorter then than a real standard piano. If you play the organ and your lower keyboard wants to be uh, a bigger range of notes to play your different inversions, then on the 76 note you can spread out that much easier. Now the Taurus 5 also has a facility where you can zone out one voice and have it right at the top of the keyboard as a kind of a solo instrument. So right three can be used and you can zone that out and you've got a bit more range to do that with the with the 76 note. So it's not going to be quite so uh, cramped in if you want to play a, a solo section. Okay, so we've got lots of new voices. The Taurus 5 has many new voices. Some of them are in a new section called Organ World. And there's another feature called Ensemble, which I'll show you. We've also got lots of new styles. There's a new feature called Audio Styles. And these actually have real uh, drums playing alongside the, uh, the patterns that you're familiar with. They also have some voices in some of them, or maybe some castanets or some tom-toms or something. So they really help to um, enhance the drums that you're familiar with to give you a much better overall style. And the recording feature is better too. We've now got a, a much more advanced recording section. We can record audio as well as MIDI, but also we can take out vocals from a, a standard CD track that you might have, or you can slow down or speed up a, a recording that you have, and then it allows you to play along or even sing along while you're listening to other people's music. So the the audio record and the audio section has been enhanced and we can even put our recordings into the multipads and that means we can play along with uh, sound effects or music from a CD that we've copied in and then play along with our, our own instruments. So lots of new scope for experimenting with the Taurus 5. The other thing I like about the Taurus 5 is that its layout is exactly the same as a Taurus 1, 2, 3 or 4. So if you've been building up through the ranges or you've got one of the earlier models, it's exactly the same to operate. This, the, the panel layout is identical. and um, We can get to the same buttons for the same features with ease. The difference is that everything's changed in the Tyros. So on a five, all the sounds, all the styles, they've all been updated and arranged uh, even better. So you're gonna get a bigger range, but in a familiar layout, very easy to navigate. And if you're moving on from an earlier Tyros, the Tyros 5 allows you to bring registrations from an earlier model into the Tyros 5. So if you want help with that, we can do it for you. But any registrations that you've bought or that you've made can be loaded in. The reason why this works is there's a section called Legacy. And in that Legacy voice section, all the sounds from previous models are loaded in. So that means that you can uh, bring in a registration from a Tyros 2 and the voices that it had will be available still in your Tyros 5. They're not in the main sections because that have brought the more up-to-date voices in. But if you wanted to use sounds that you've used from an earlier model, they'll still be available. And also premium packs. If you've got a premium pack that you've bought or something extra voices from Yamaha, Yamaha allow you to download them again. And uh, using a program in uh, your computer, or uh, we can do it for you if you don't want to, uh, there's a program called Expansion Manager. And that allows you to bring all your uh, expansion packs together and put them into a format that the Tyros 5 will accept. And again, we can help you with that. Okay, we talked a lot about it. Let's look at a Tyros 5 and show you some of the new features. Okay, so I'm sitting now at the Tyros 5 and I want to show you some of the new styles that are built into it. Now, some of them are the audio styles and some of them are just brand new styles that they've launched in the Tyros 5. So if we go into the movie and show section, now um, what I tend to do when I'm playing is I use the OTS link because it gives you some fantastic sounds um, just from the touch of your style variation. So for those of you who don't use it, um, we've got the ABC buttons here, and when the OTS link is turned on, A gives me registration uh, one touch session number one, B gives me number two, C gives me three, and D gives me four. So that means I get a, a selection of really nice sound setups without having to se separately choose things to select from the sound section. Okay, so tap, dance, swing is selected, 
in for number two. Let's have a listen. So some brilliant foot tapping in the background. It really does help to enhance what you're playing and make you have a smile on your face, which is great. Okay, the next one I want to show you is uh, Toccata. And Toccata is a great style. Uh, it's very good for something like Phantom of the Opera. I mean, you can play the song Toccata on it, I'm sure. But if we go to um, the intro number two, it's quite a sinister, this one, and we can play our chords. And let's have a listen to what it sounds like. bit out of practice but you get the idea they're really big full sounds in fact the ending on this one is great too and that really rich organ sound coming through okay let's go to another one now we've got one <laughs> okay we've got one called choral hymn Call him is a free play style. So for those of you who have got an earlier model than a Tyros uh, 3 or 4, then you might not realise that free play are a new style of um, backing. Now there's a couple that are on the Tyros 4 called Ethereal Movie and Ethereal Voices. And these are lovely styles. Uh, in fact, I'll just give you a little idea. The Ethereal Movie one is great for the Titanic theme. If I put the intro on first...
most amazing style. So these are ethereal movie and ethereal voices. Now these are all called free play and the reason why they're free play is there's no obvious drum beat to what you're playing. You just get a, a nice full enhanced backing that you can just play along at any speed to, but they're quite moving, um, very nice accompaniments. Ethereal voices is beautiful because we've got like choirs in the background. I'll just show you this one. So it's a great styles which are in Tyros 4, the free play, they're just a little bit more enhanced, the choirs have got better. Now if we go to another one on this page, uh, Proms March, and this gives us a great one. Um, this works very well for the Dam Busters, although it would be good for the Proms March as well, I'm sure. If we go to the intro number two, play my chord. ending and there's one more the other ending is even better I think for this one so some great new styles and that's just one page we've gone through from the movie and show section uh, and there's loads of sections to choose from so let's try a few more just to give you some of the new ideas that are built into Tyros 5. Let's go to Swing and Jazz. Let's go to the audio again. Now the audios, you'll notice when I turn it on, it takes about two seconds just to, to load up. So when I press the button, you'll see loading on the screen. There we go. And if I put my intro on, let's have a listen to this one. Solo clarinet sounds great. Another great style. 
Okay, let's try another one then. Let's try the Cool Jazz Club, which has now got the audio built into it too. So let's have a listen to that one. That's a nice one. So that's Cool Jazz Club. And we've got all the usual ones that you're familiar with, but again, with updated uh, sounds and variations. So we've got um, modern big band, we've got Manhattan swing, instrumental jazz, acoustic jazz, I love. This is a great style. <laughs> another great style. So a really nice um, set of styles in the uh, swing and jazz section. Let's try another section then, shall we? Let's go to the country section. Okay, some great new country styles. And again, the ones with the audio are the ones I want to show you. The new bluegrass is a great style. Let's have a try with this. So I'm gonna put an intro on. We'll just play with the first backing. Okay, another one here that's really nice is the Easy Country, and this works really well for uh, Nora Jones. So if we play a bit of Nora Jones,
that's a great style, that one. Now I want to show you now in the ballroom section, let's go to the theatre organ. So on the third page of the ballroom section, we've got things like theatre organ, showtime, and this is a new style which is phenomenal. So let's play a chord on there. Excellent rhythm style, okay. And we just finished up with some Latin now. The Latin itself, uh, a lot of these have got these audio again and they just add something extra to the style that we've never had before. So if we go into uh, a pop flamenco, let's go to pop flamenco, and I'm gonna play my intro again and listen very carefully to the intro. brilliant accompaniment that one is. So that's the pop flamencos and you really get in the feel of it don't you? So the styles are excellent here, the really good accompaniment section, um, the voices have been upgraded so all the sounds are much better now. If we go into the, uh, the sections over here we've got a place called Organ World and this is, if you imagine you collect cars, you have all your garages for your different cars. On Organ World if you collect organs you've got a different place for the different types of organs and the first one is the vintage organ section and you can see we have um, all the different draw bars, just like we have on something like a Hammond organ, and uh, we can get the different sounds. Now there's some buttons along here we can go to. The, the one on the right is presets, and that means that these buttons on the bottom here give us a different preset sound made up from all the draw bars. So if we go to the um, just the organ section, you'll be able to hear them. We've got number one. Number two. We can change the tremor if we wanted off look, there we go. But it's put it on automatically in these presets. Number five, six, seven, and number eight. So some beautiful sounds there. If we go to the footages, we can then actually make our own sounds. We can get the, the footages of what we want to play. And we can bring them up and down to suit what we want. So that's the first section, which is the vintage section. The next ones are more like the sort of Lowry sounds. If we go into the... Take some of those ones out again. And again, we've got the presets that we can go into. Mm -hmm. 
So it's a lovely organ sounds in the home section. Now the Euro organ, uh, we've got the more sort of wursy boom. Some more the um, old European sounds. And if we go across to presets, we can hear some of them. Now the next section is probably my favourite and it's the concert organ. Now this is like the cathedral organs. And again we've got presets which are excellent. Now as we get to the more richer sounds, the bass is really, really very powerful and it's just like the bass pedal would be on an organ. So if I go straight to number eight and I play this note down here, we get the effect of like a bass pedal. And I like to play this a bit louder, bring the bass up on the bass speaker and you can really get the effect of the bass on an organ. And then we've got the theatre organ section. And the theatre organs, again, you've got your presets. Um, again, starting softer and going to the much richer sounds. A bit further. rich uh, real sounds. And Yamaha have gone to these organs and they've sampled them so you're getting the actual sounds of a real organ. So your organ world section is, is very very effective and we've got the five ones uh, to choose from. Now the other button I want to show you over here is the ensemble button and when I go into here the ensemble section will give me um, a choice of instruments that go together very well and they'll give you the effects as though these instruments are playing. If I just play single notes... And they give you a very effective full sound with these instruments. But we can actually go a little bit further and we can use them um, either with the harmony section or for playing chords. And what happens is it tracks the different parts of the notes you're playing to suit the instruments that are selected. So if I go into the string section and uh, we've got a choice of strings is our classic first violin, second violin, uh, viola and cello. So if I was to play a, a chord with these. Now again, I don't know how much you'll spot from the uh, listening from these speakers, but essentially what will happen, if I go to the edit button, it will show me that the four instruments have different parts of playing in an orchestra. And if I play uh, a note in the middle, that's showing me my first violin playing. If I play a note below that, the orange note is coming on, that's my second violin. And if I play another note, that will be my viola playing. And the bottom note will be the cello. So when we're playing sort of close part harmony, it's very effective to watch where the notes are coming from and which instruments. And it really does make a huge difference to what we would normally listen to, which is just the strings all together every time. So if I put a chord on now, and I come to the same sound but use the harmony echo feature, it will do it automatically for me. I'll play my chord. I'll just turn the volume down a little bit. Let's come out for a second. Just bring my style volume down. And then when I come into my harmony echo again now, with my violins, 
on the violas and the cellos. Let's put the edit button on, you'll see the move. So the harmony is choosing which instruments and which notes to play, and it's giving me lovely um, harmonies on what I'm playing for some one note. So very, very effective string harmony. Let's go to another instrument now. Let's go to, um, if we go to the brass section, and again, I can get it to use that, um, that full sound with the harmony button on. So we've never had anything before like this, and it just gives you another dimension to harmonies and using a group of instruments. You can also go into some other stuff as well. You go to the woodwind section, we've got the saxophones. So a great section of um, saxophones together. But we can also go into this preset button. And what this does is it lets us change the group of instruments. If I go into the uh, the woodwind section we've got here and preset and then come up out of the instruments that we're using we can come into different sets of groups of instruments and I've got others on here. Now if we go to other we've got some interesting ones we can go into these Alpen ones I particularly like and if we go on to Alpen 2 I'm going to choose a world rhythm to play with it so let's go to my um, Irish Mazurka and let's see what this sounds like. Add the harmony. And we can see the instruments. So we've got these really unusual sets of instruments we can bring into this section to, to give us some extra harmonies. It's just something to fiddle with, an extra facility that weren't uh, wasn't available on the lower models, but, but you can do all kinds of instrument groups, brass instruments, orchestral brass, uh, full violin sections, woodwind, and, uh, and they make a really good extra big sound, but you need to get experimented with them to find all those new things. So that's called the ensemble section. So loads of new voices have been added to the Tyros 5, and they've been resampled using new methods using later technology than the earlier Tyroses. So if we go into the woodwind section, we've got our classical flute here, a most amazing sound. We've got a jazz flute. If we press a bit harder, we get the trill effect. The, uh, the soprano sax has got particularly better as well. If we go to the ballad soprano. Pop soprano. The breathy sax is even better. go into um, uh, some other voices. We go to the brass section, muted trumpet's great. Uh, the jazz trumpet. And we can get these effects to come in. If I press the articulation one button, you get that lovely glide effect. 
very effective on the trombone, so that I'll put the articulation on. So really, really effective. And the guitar section is also um, much bigger now. We've got a separate electric guitar button here. So if I go to electric guitars, they've all got lots of new digital effects processes to make them sound more realistic. The Shadows guitar here. Let's put on the pop and rock guitar accompaniment, the 60s guitar, and um, we'll have a listen to what it sounds like. there in the um, shadows the shadows sound and we've got lots of other new uh, styles we've got Canadian rock and we've got 80s rock anthem and lots of things which we'll bring in in this audio and they're going to give us something extra that we wouldn't normally hear in the style on the older models but they're going to enhance it to make it sound much much better and of course we've got the music finder feature which we're all familiar with from older models we can go into the music finder feature we've got a list of songs that we can select from in, in the model of the uh, in the Taurus 5s we put in 1825 song titles and you can go down letter by letter to find the sound that you want for a particular song and um, you can scroll through to the one that you want to find and then we can select it and it sets up the exact uh, suitable style from the rhythm section and four great sounds that will go with it. So the, the uh, music finder is, is very, very effective and a great way to find a song set up for something you've got maybe in a book or when you want to play, but just not sure of what to select for uh, that particular song. Okay, so I think you'll agree the Tyros 5 is a big improvement on its predecessors, the Tyros, Tyros 2, Tyros 3, Tyros 4. And, and through that time, the technology has come on so far that the Tyros 5 can now give us some much more up-to-date features. If you think we've now got the 76-note range of keys as well, which was never available on the earlier Tyros models. So if you're a pianist that's used to that, range of 88 notes on a, a real piano, then you're only one octave short now. If you're an organist where you're used to the two keyboards, we've now got that bigger area for our left hand chords to play all the different inversions. And that makes it a much more comfortable instrument to play when you're not under jump down octaves or uh, fitted into just a five octave version. And obviously we've got the new sounds too, all the new sound samples and the new um, organ world feature which gives us the five sections of organ sounds and we've also got the new audio style so we've got the the real instruments coming in to enhance what were fantastic rhythms on the earlier models they've just got that a little bit better now and for those of you with registrations from earlier models we can now bring them forward into the Tyros 5 because there's a section called legacy which is hidden away and not all of you would have found it but each time a new model comes out they add all the extra voices into the uh, the newest model. So if you've got registrations that you've saved on an earlier Tyros, we can load them in and they will find the right voices to play from your model in a Tyros 5. And also the style will update too, so you'll get the nearest available style, which will be even better with maybe audio backgrounds and better orchestrations. And if you've been buying premium packs for your earlier model Tyroses, Yamaha now are letting you download the new version of those for your Tyros 5. And um, there's a new program for your PC called Expansion Manager, which is where you can load them into a format that the Tyros 5 will accept. And if you're not too sure about PCs and loading in voices through Expansion Managers, we'll do it for you. We'll get it all loaded in before you get your keyboard. And we're happy to part exchange your older models. 
So do get in touch and we can work out what we can allow you on your previous Tyros or earlier model keyboard to move up to a Tyros 5. And with all our Tyros 5s, we check them over very carefully. We make sure that they're in good condition. We also load them up with 600 registrations and we also load them up with 1825 music finder files. So there's plenty to be playing with to get the best sounds out of the keyboard. And we've got our Tyros tips to videos that we've produced, which will help you get the best out of the Tyros. And don't forget we deliver it and we'll collect your part exchange at the same time. So we'll come out and make sure it's all set up correctly for you. If you do have any questions, there is a link in the description of this video below. You can just click on there and you can come through to us either by email or you can call us and we'd be pleased to have a chat with you about the differences and any questions you might have. I hope you found this video useful. Take care. Thank you.